With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's begin with the problem and in this question it says that a girl is standing on a stationary lift and throws a ball upward with a initial speed of 50 meter per second. So in the question it is being asked that what is the time after that the ball returns to the, to the girl again. So that is we have to calculate. Okay, so what what is given here in the question that she throws the ball with a speed of 50 meter per second. So we can write initial speed of the ball that is 50 meter per second. Right. And the acceleration due to gravity is here will be 10 meter per second. So let us understand the scenario what has happened here. She throws the ball and ball moves upward. Right. When its velocity becomes zero at the very top point, then it returns and returns to this point right so if we assume that this point is O and this point is A right so we can say that at the point A the final velocity is going to be 0 and one more thing time taken to move from O to A will be equal to the time taken when it returns from A to O because throughout the process the acceleration due to gravity will act uniformly that is value is not going to change G will be 10 meter per second square throughout the process. So that means if we calculate the time period to move from O to A, then we can double that time and we get the final value of the time. So let's calculate that. So by first equation of motion, we can say that V is equal to U plus G T. Now finally at A, the V is 0 and U is 50 meter per second. Now when the ball moving upward so in that case the g will be taken as negative so that is 10 into t now further 10 t is equal to 50 and t will come out as 5 seconds so this is the time of ascent that means that means it is moving upward same time will be taken when it moves downward so total time total time taken by the ball to return is equal to 2t or we can say 2 into 5 so this will come out as total time is equal to 10 seconds okay so this is the final value that we have obtained in the end so when we move towards the option when you move towards the option, then we can clearly see that the option B is the matching one. So option B is the correct answer. This was about this question. Thank you for watching. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.